Hi everybody, this is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I send you love. Um, for clarification, I do not own the rights to the music playing in the background. I thank you guys for stopping by as always and listening to me and hearing uh, my stories, my interpretations, my updates, and etc. I thank you so much. Um, and I always send you love. I was uh, doing some errands today and um, I began to laugh because I remembered um, when I was uh, first a story or an experience of mine. And of course this is stemming from um, trying to really learn to connect um, with God and understanding the messages that I was uh, being given. So this was early on in my process and I, I don't precisely know when, but um, there was, he was telling me to look up, look up. And I received, I think, a, a vision of someone looking up into the attic and so I was guided to um, a verse in the Bible and I don't know what it was I haven't done the research again to remember in order to give to you so um, I apologize for that but um, <clears throat> I felt silly because I kept thinking to myself, God, are you upstairs in my attic? <laughs> you see how crazy that is. God, are you up there? You know, because, you know, I was really um, is gullible or naive um, early on in my process where, you know, like the, the burning bush took place in the Bible. So I was like, oh, maybe. God is going to kind of like create this something up in the attic that's going to burn and he's going to show me himself in that type of scenario but of course um, with my attic I was uh, too afraid to even venture up there and I just I was like God I am so sorry if you really are up there and I am afraid to go up there I, I really apologize for this but I know it's dark, and I know there's tons of spiders up there, and uh, who knows what else could be up there. And, of course, back then I was terrified of spiders, and I was just getting out of that fear. I mean, truly fearful of them. Um, one time I almost wrecked my car because a very small, tiny one was uh, dangling in front of me. But, um, and that fear actually stemmed out of nowhere. Um... And all of a sudden. So if you do have any types of uh, phobias, fears, um, in relationship to anything, there's a source behind it. And um, in time, when you begin your healing process and strengthening your own internal power, all of that stuff will dissipate. So I, a light bulb has gone off as to why or what you know God was talking about and it's crazy how I I didn't remember this earlier here um, within this past year um, six months or so at least the cave of Brahma the attic you know when we are thinking in terms of the attic what is stored up there in the darkness that's hidden unexposed, forgotten, um, where if we begin to uncover things, what are you going to learn? What are you going to see? What are you going to have? Um, the attic is a representation of everything that we have forgotten about, everything that we don't even know that is exists within our own mind 
it is the unconscious mind, it is the subconscious mind, and things that we are not conscious and aware of. It is everything there. Uh, and to be able to have a full functioning um, attic that is that has the light restored within it is to be fully illuminated. And so, you know, again, for me to not even remember my process until now is mind-boggling. But I, I, too, appreciate being able to remember it now, especially, especially where I currently am at this very moment. Because today is still uh, January the 19th. It is the sun in Aquarius today. I just got done uh, making a video expressing um, what my interpretation is of the age of Aquarius, etc. And what it means to receive the anointing. Or how to become anointed, kind of. Um, so I hope to make another video in relationship to that. So I really expected, or I thought I was going to be an emotional wreck throughout these couple of videos because I was early on throughout my day um, until I came home from my errands, roughly about 10.30, and my emotional state became more stabilized. Um, now I am in a form of disbelief a little bit. I think that's the word. It's shock, a form of shock. And um, whereas this morning I was more overwhelmed, extremely grateful, and appreciative, and so many emotions were coming in. That, of course, I was expressing it in the form of tears. And I was driving and just crying, kind of. And I'm like, I know that person probably thinks I'm insane. And then I was having a huge uh, sort of energy and, and cut type of bliss. And then one second later, I'm crying again. And it was just all over the place. And, and now again, I'm back to being... shocked so something else I failed to place into my earlier video that um, you have probably already listened to is that um, crawlers are becoming more visible again within the atmosphere um, shooting type of crawlers on orbs um, to the point of them shocking me um, and making me kind of uh, go back, not in the form of screaming or anything, but you know, the, the body kind of, ooh, there was that. And tons of more intense, tinier sparkles are um, visible today as a result of the upgrades that I have recently received, the gifts that I have recently received. Um, <clears throat> I, feel, I feel great. I feel awesome today. I um, have, I was up early, as I had wanted to be, and um, got a lot accomplished early on in my morning. And the sun is shining. The sun is shining today, and it's beautiful. I think it's truly beautiful today. And I guess before I say goodbye is just another word of advice. <clears throat> no matter what is going on around us, we have to stay true to ourselves. If others are feeling more chaotic and out of control and, and uh, fear-based, it's so important to stay true to yourself and your path and what it is you want out of it. Don't get pulled back down. <clears throat> Don't get swallowed. up into that type of um, demise. 
And that's when we lose our way again. And it's very easy to get lost. Stay mindful and aware. Mindful of what is taking place and aware of how that is making you feel. And then correct it as best as you can. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.